So our reporter Daniel Lupuku was at the ministries in Accra to gauge the mood of workers in the face of the outbreak. This is the heart of the ministry where chief directors and sector ministers, including staff of the ministry, pad their vehicles. But as such, 10 a.m., we are told because of the scale of the coronavirus, a lot of them have not been able to come to work. And all those who have come to work, including the chief directors, are in a crunch meeting trying to fashion out ways as to how to implement the directive of the president. A few workers were spotted around the ministry's area. Others were yet to procure face masks and under kits to stay safe. The Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations has put in place hand sanitizers and sensors to protect workers. Others who declined to speak on camera said they had sought permission to pick their words from school. A parent who could not bear the brunt of the closure of the schools brought his children to work. You know, the school is a place normally when you send them to school and you go to work. So we brought them here. For four or four weeks? Yeah. How are you going to contain that? Uh, we are thinking through what next we can do. Probably I'm thinking whether I should um, bring my elderly sister to come and help us. The pandemic appears to have caused fear and panic among the workers. The Minister of Employment and Labour Relations has agreed to convene a tripartite meeting following the outbreak. The Executive Secretary of Clocksack, who is a member of the tripartite, Isaac Bampuado, asked workers not to panic. Our challenge is that um, who is ensuring that these measures are being uh, adhered to? I think there should be a task force to ensure that these measures are adhered to. And then there should be clear directives for workplaces, what you should do, government institutions, what should happen. And I think this will go a long way to check the spread of this coronavirus. At the scholarship secretariat, management had made available sanitizers and personal protective equipment. In a day, the secretariat receives 800 clients. Workers have undergone training on how to detect those exhibiting signs of the virus. The scholarship secretariat is complying with the president's directive. The secretariat has been a step ahead after the announcement by the president on the 12th of March concerning the spread of the COVID-19, even before cases were confirmed in Ghana. I must say that the Secretariat is so much concerned about its students abroad and has sent solidarity messages and is working through missions to ensure continued support for its students abroad. Daniel Opoku, TV3 News, Accra.